Hey, Julie Berg coming live to you from Florida. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And I'm with Julie Reynolds here. Say hi. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> All right, cool. So we'll give it a minute. Let Facebook go out and do what Facebook does. Can you guys Where hear you? the music downstairs? I know. It's like Having tropical. Some wine. Happy Friday. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Friday night. Mm. Let's see, okay. So as you're tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, let us know if you could hear us too. All right, what's up, Isabel? Hi, sweetie. Let us. Can you hear us? Okay, because there's music. Music, music. Hey there. Hey there. So sad. I'm not. Oh, we girl, miss you too. Yes. So if you're tuning in live, I want you to say hello. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Like I said, don't really go live Friday night. Erin, what's up, girlfriend? Um. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Say hi to Aaron. Hi, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> so it's like, such it's, a glare. It's really difficult for us to see because, you know, there's just so much sunshine in our life. <laughs> it's rough. It's really, really rough. Right, Julie? Yes. All right. So we're at an event uh, for our company. We're at a company event. Can you guys hear us? Just, like, give us some hearts. Yes, okay. can hear us. Hi, ladies. Let me know what you learned. Wish okay. Yes, we will, dear. All right. So we're at a company event, and like I said, hopefully you can hear us. Is that your phone ringing? Yeah, it's okay. It's All right, we're, we're totally doing this live on the fly. We just uh, got done with a leadership training, a leadership dinner, and now we're going to another training um, for the night, an award ceremony. Um, okay, awesome. There is some, I don't know, what do you call that? Percussion. Like a bachi like band. A, or like a, a, what kind of band I don't is know. it? Like a Per, yes, per, like I should yes, be yes, sitting yes. poolside drinking a margarita right now and not in a dress. That that kind of music's playing right now. And All in right. Cancun. <laughs> and in Cancun. Uh, which I was last week. Yeah, I know. So All right. So listen, we're talking. We're coming to you live today because we want to talk to you about making a, a decision, like the power of a decision. And Erin, I know you will appreciate this. So uh, share this now because most times people let. Um, they let their, their themselves lead with their head instead of their gut and their intuition. And you guys, she right here, if you don't know who, who Julie is, she's like, uh, her major is... Uh, I'm a counselor, I'm a therapist. Yeah, it, she's a therapist, right? So she could just pick this apart. <laughs> <laughs> let me get inside your brain. Get inside my brain. Okay, so I want to share a story with you guys. You guys like stories? Give me a heart if you like stories. So, hey, how are, Angie. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Angie? How are you? All right, so you, yes, you're one decision away from a different path, as Erin said. I love that. So I got home from Cancun on Sunday, and I came home from being gone with my husband for five days and of, or four days. And of course, kids all over you, you come home, right? So spending time with the kids about five o'clock at night, and my husband goes and picks up food with our other son and I noticed that my son's leg, my four-year-old's leg, has a tick on it, okay? Now, I've never seen a tick. I, we've never had a tick. Some people would be like, oh, a tick is nothing. Listen, I had a friend that oh had... Oh my God, it would freak me Yeah, out. I had a friend that had Lyme disease yes. from a tick bite, okay? So, of course, this tick, and I don't know how long the tick was on his leg. Um, Anyways, my husband comes in, we, we remove the tick, we get that all taken care of. All right, so that's Sunday night. Then, you know, he gets sick with something. So on Monday I wake up, or in the middle of Sunday night to Monday, my husband gets the flu. So now I have, and I knew I was leaving Wednesday for our company event. So my son had a tick, my son is getting sick, and my husband has the flu, and I have to hold on the floor because I have like, 500 loads of laundry to do from us being gone in Mexico, right? So here I am sitting Monday and it's the last day of the month. And so network marketers here, you'll appreciate that. So if you're in network marketing, I want you to drop me a one. And also if you're on the replay, I want you to drop hashtag replay, okay? And if you're new to who I am, Julie Burke, uh, I've been in network marketing for six years now. I teach other, um, I teach basically home-based business entrepreneurs how to leverage um, online uh, marketing skill sets to be able to leverage their time to build their business, all right? 
So, um, I'm getting a lot of ones. Okay. So, in network marketing, you know the last day of the month is very, very crucial, right? Oh, it's huge, it's right? Called, close out the month, right? Close out the month strong. And I was sitting there on Monday thinking, like, this is a total crap storm when I just came home to. So, again, tick flu and then I had to take my son to the doctor he ended up having a sinus infection okay so what I want to talk to you about is making the decision right because this all comes back to mindset and allowing outside circumstances to control our life right and so I'm going to talk to you about it and then Julie's going to get all like um therapist on you yeah <laughs> therapist on all of you okay and this is good she's got good stuff so I declared out uh, 12 o'clock on a Monday. Oh, God, is it hot out here? I know. 12 o'clock on Monday that I was going for the next rank. I didn't know how I needed, like, 3,000 in volume. But, but I, I'm going to stop you because you're telling about all of these things that you have, right? You've got a sick kid, a tick, laundry. Husband. Husband, husband. sick. Like, and tons of errands. Tons of errands. So you had all of the excuses. Oh, totally, you guys. Totally all of these excuses, yeah. right? Like, We'll just get it next month. Like, right. I've got all of these excuses. I can't do it. Look at, like, excuse after excuse after excuse, but you're making this decision. So, sorry, I'm going to cut no, you off because no, I wanted to, yes. like, show you. Like, you have a choice. That's what we're it's talking like fighter, about. It's like fight or flight, right? Like right. We could, so, exactly. Like, I, we could allow the outside circumstances to control the decisions that we make. Or we could stop, press pause, and say, okay, you know, this is all happening, but, yeah, it, this is also important, and I'm leading by example for my team, right? Like, you always want to be um, that leader to, to, to lead by example. You don't just want to point fingers and tell them what to do. Like, you have to lead it, and I, and, and and I that's knew what, that. And that's what she's doing, right? Like, how many times have you made an excuse and is like, well, I can't do it now because I've got X, Y, and Z, right? If that's happened to you, put a two in the comments that you've made an excuse to stop you from making the decision that you know that you should be making, yeah. right? And like, I'd be putting like twos up and down. Right. You know, two, 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 two. But that happens. So Julie, go on and tell your story because then we're going to talk about the power of decision. Yeah, so um, it was around noon. And I'm like, okay, I don't have time to do a Facebook Live right now. Like, literally, I was... I had to run and go get my child from preschool. I'm like, I had like 5,000 errands to run. I guess just a lot to do, but again, don't make it an excuse. What I was looking to achieve and to lead by example was very important to me as well. So I flipped the script and I said, okay, well, I don't have time to do a live, but what can I do? So I got really creative. I put a post out there and this post ended up having, and I did a giveaway. And it ended up having 160 comments and like countless people that wanted to know more about the products. And I ended up going beyond the 3,000 volume and ended up rank advancing that day within 24 hours. And so you stop and think about that and you think about what if I didn't, what if I didn't stop? Right? Like, right. what if, what I if you would have made, made the, the decision? Excuse, the excuses. What if I made the excuse? That would not have happened. I wouldn't have, have, have felt like, um, I would have just sat in like that, that stuck mode. Because I was like, right. stuck status at a, quo. Yeah, status quo. Right. Totally. You so, would have been like maintaining, right? Like, okay, I'll just, I'll hit it again. I'll get it next, next month. month. I'll do it next, next month. month. I'll do that post tomorrow so I leverage myself for May as opposed to working towards the end of the month for April. Right. And so you made that, you, you make that decision, right? You can let excuses pull you forward or you can let excuses kind of drive you. Um, and what you did, Julie, is you let the excuses like move you forward in your business, right? Exactly. Instead of letting that. And then, you know, Julie and I were talking about like there's people that you guys, how many of you have ever gone for a rank advancement in your company and you haven't hit it? Put a three down if you've done, gone for a rank advancement and you've never hit it before or you didn't hit it that month whatever it is i'm sure there's threes coming there's through, gotta be like three and we're on a delay through. so <laughs> you guys but, it's so, so bright, bright out here i know it's so hard to see okay, okay there's three yolanda said three okay so you have and that's where we were talking before we came on here it's like you yeah. have a choice you have a decision right right had julie not had hit her rank advancement she could have made the decision to be like well month of april 
month of April sucked. I'm gonna let May suck too. And I've seen it. I've seen girls in their teams, they go for this swing advancement, they're so close to it, and then they don't hit it, and you and they pull back so far on their business. And so they get in their own head. They get in their own head. They've now made the decision, right? Right. They've made that choice that I'm not good enough, whatever thoughts it is that you're telling yourself, and right. you pull back. And so what we were talking about is like you have that decision to make that it can either propel you and drive you forward, or it can stop you in your tracks because right. you're not always going to be successful, right? Like mm -hmm. there was a strong possibility, Julie, you weren't going to hit it. No, it, but if I didn't hit it, I would have been okay with it because I would say at least I, I tried. tried. Right. I, I gave just, it my yeah, all. Yeah, I gave it my all. At least okay. I tried. It was end of month. It was worth a shot, right? Like, go back to, the, like, how many shots did Michael Jordan have to take to, like, finally get, right? right. To become the champion, right? Like, but it's how many mindset. shots did he miss? It's the mindset. Right. Like, it's easier to give up when you don't hit something than it is to let it propel you forward. It is. Right? And it's really powerful. Like, I feel like there's so much power. Like, every, think of every, like, Think of your life and think about every time you were faced with having to make a choice or a decision, right? Last year, a lot of you know my story, and if you don't, like, I I was faced with a decision I had to make to leave a huge downline, leave multiple six figures to come to a new company, and I was faced with that de decision because um, some people didn't agree with some of my entrepreneur views of my business, and so... And I had enough integrity for myself to say goodbye and let me start over again. I had to stop and make that decision, which was right for me and not for everybody else. And I know it sounds selfish and some people, they sit there and say, well, I can't make that decision because it might hurt X, Y, and Z. Let, let me tell you something. If you don't make a decision that's right for you, you will end up being miserable your entire life. And you don't want to live with regret, no. right? Like, no. hashtag no regret if you don't want to live with regret, right? Like, you want to know that you gave 110% yes. every day. So that when you're done at the end of the night, like, you can't have regret. Like, no. it, it looms over you if you do something that you You have regret. to go to bed with a peaceful mind. And you have to wake up with a smile. Does that make sense? So... We wanted to come on here because we were having this conversation. I think it's like super powerful. It's and I'm hoping about... you guys got value from this. If you got value from this, drop value in the comments. But, you know, it's just, it's not about me rank, it, rank advancing or it's not about her. She just double rank advanced today, right? Like, amazing. But she, that's what I'm saying. Like, she made that decision to go for it. I made that decision. I'm to go for it. But what we're trying to say is if it doesn't happen. Even if it happen, doesn't happen, happen, you can't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you. And I've seen it. How many times have you seen it where, like, Lots women have gone. They're like, okay, much. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I'm going to go. And then what ends up happening is they don't hit it, which is okay, right? But what is and it, like, psychologically, do you feel like it is because that, like, I, they I, hit that wall? They hit that wall because they've set, they feel like it's the negative thoughts that you're telling yourself. I'm a failure. I'm not good enough. I couldn't do it. If I couldn't do it this month, then there's no way I'm going to do it the next month. It's the thoughts that we're telling ourselves right. that stop us in our tracks right. from, you know, as opposed to, like, how different does it sound if you didn't hit it and you say... I'll try again next month. This month, the month of May is going to rock. Um, this is what I need to do. I didn't do X, Y, and Z. So this is what I need to do this month to drive my business forward, right? Do you see how that, like, Yeah, like just setting changing, a 30-day plan. Just like, changing right? it. Yes. And right. not, and it's what you're telling yourself too, right? right? Like, you're not saying, I didn't do it. I'm a failure. Like, yes, you need to mourn. Yes, you need to be disappointed if you don't I would have been it. like, oh. Uh, that sucked, but guess what? I, I got a few orders in. I didn't hit my rank. Right. But then again, flipping it and saying, well, I did have, you know, three or four orders come through. I didn't right. get my 3,000 points, but I had three or four orders. There's still three or four more customers that, you know, came through. Guess what? Next month, I'm going to make a 30 day plan. You guys, I like working my business in 30 day increments. I don't go all 90 days, and I know there's a 90 day plan. Uh uh. For me, what happens with me and my team is we do 30-day chunks. Like, we take it 30 days at a time. So we'll take a 30-day and we reverse engineer and figure out, okay, what do people need to rank advance? Like, where do we need to go with this? Like, you know, and we'll go literally 
I take my leaders and then they go through their team and we, we, we do like fun giveaways and promos and what have you, but that's what we did all last month. But again, end of month, I'm like, oh, I'm gone to Mexico. I'm not going to be able to hit, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit this. And then I get home and it's a crap storm. And then I'm like, oh, for sure. I'm not going to hit this. But then on Monday I stopped that thought pattern and I'm like, you know what? It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. The day is not over. I still have time to hit this. I know it's 3,000 points, but guess what? I'm going to put a rocking like post out there and, and see what happens. That's because it. at least you try, right? Exactly. No regret. Again, exactly. it goes no. back to no regret. I would have started May with a whole plan for 30 days for my entire team and myself and like all new goals, right? right. So that's what we're saying is don't allow those negative emotions to get you down in your business. And just know stop that you from making the decisions. decisions to not go for it. Right. Yeah. Like you're better than that. That's I, that's our message today. Is like you're worth it. Whatever it is to you, whatever success looks like to you, it's not going to your success is my success is her success, Julie's success. It's not going to look the same. We're all different. Like Julie just sat here and she said, "What is your why?" Okay? So your why is supposed to make you cry, right? Or at least that's How what you hear. How many of you have heard that before? Have you ever heard why your why is supposed to make you cry? All right, so listen, um, mine doesn't, <laughs> and I'm okay with that because I have a why that actually makes me happy. Right. And she's like, isn't that cry. weird? And I was like, no, like, why yeah. is that weird? As long as you peel back the onions to get to the root of your why, it doesn't really have to make you cry. No. It could be, you know, yours makes you happy. I have multiple whys, by the way, so right. that's, a, that's a whole life for another day. <laughs> But listen, we just want to hop on here. I love you guys. Um, thanks, thanks for Julie. hanging for us. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Yeah, our, thank our you for having me. Here. Yes. And you if you have, have any questions, just drop a comment. If you found value, definitely share it out. Put value in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And um, if you have any questions, just message me and uh, be blessed. Okay? Bye. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Cheers. I can't even see.